Yankee Stadium area to Holly Road. Steve Goodman, WZUU, Shadow Traffic. Don't go away, Steve. Uh, Judy's on the line. Hello, Judy. Hi. What did you want to tell us? Please don't play any more Barry. <laughs> don't please. Pl don't, don't play, play anymore. Don't play no. any more, Barry? No, please. There's another one of us. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand listening to him anymore. His have you heard voice the, and his have, music are driving me crazy. Have you heard the, I need your help, Barry no, Manilow? No, please, please, please. Have you heard that song? Uh, By Ray Stevens, which makes fun of Barry Manilow? Yeah, I think I did, yeah. Did Is you that like... the one that makes fun of all of his songs? Yes. Yes, I've heard it, and... Please, don't play any more Barry. Can we play Ray? Well, you could play him. Okay. But please don't play any more Barry Manilow. Okay, Judy. Thank okay, you Judy, if you say so. I mean... It, we appreciate the call. We, we would appreciate it if you would, just to make things official, come down to the station and apply for the program director's job. I certainly wish I could. <laughs> if you have every record that you've got there, would you... Just take him and smash him right the next Barry to the or whatever he has Would you to. please uh, rent a garbage truck and back it up to our back I door sometime this evening? Well, will promise not to play any more Barry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Judy. <laughs> well, Steve, oh, took, whoops, I lost Steve in the process there. <clears throat> that takes care of that business. Steve is uh, not exactly what you'd call your Barry Manilow fan. It's... Uh, Oh, don't give me a dirty look, Joni. I, I mean, I you're just you a dirty look. You look like. How dare you? I just was looking at what you did with the phone. I'm thinking, how did you do that? <laughs> get, get both people on the phone. That's a new gadget that I requested. Oh. Yes, they take care of you. I request new. Is there anything you need? Because I re you... I request them and I get them like that. Boom. Not the case with me. <laughs> I ask for something. I get memos saying you might not be here too much longer. <laughs> Don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> Don't ask. You got it? <laughs> okay. Well, that's why I said if I can help you, just uh, okay, let, I'll me let, you know. let me know what you need. I a could use a case uh, of paper for the teletype machine. I could machine use a Jeep. A Jeep? Yeah. <laughs> a Jeep? Yeah. What are you going to cover in the Jeep? Well, it'll get me to wherever I'm going without any problem. I wouldn't get stuck with like I do the with my The snow season's car. over. Oh, not yet. Hmm. I bet you will get another foot of snow yet. Foot? Sure. Thanks Absolutely. A lot. Absolutely. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. It might getting, melt a little faster. We might get an inch or two or something like that. We're not getting another foot of snow. Oh, yeah. Will you read that news? <laughs> okay. I don't want to hear any foot of snow All right. stuff. Well, here's what we're working on. Milwaukee Alderman Kevin O'Connor is calling for the resignation and retirement of Police Chief Breyer today. A Wisconsin senator is out to get so-called head shops closed up, and the annual Brady Street Festival might become history. And in sports, Milwaukee Bucks... Why think? just leave him alone? Who do you like? I, I don't care for him. I do like listening to Jonathan, and I don't like... We'll let this fight continue in the background while you listen to a few commercials. Saturday is Boston Store's sensational one-day store-wide sale. Starting at 8 a.m., you can save on everything you need for you, your family, and your home. Save from 20 to 50 percent. Like, should the police beat up on the citizens, and <laughs> should the citizens, you know, uh, throw grenades at the... You know, get that... Stuff, and welfare and all that stuff. I get the heavy stuff, like... Should we play Barry Manilow records? I mean, that's where this show comes from here. I got uh, a couple of people as examples here. I think it's Tracy is your name, right? Yeah. Tracy, uh, what do you say now? Don't pick on Barry. You like Barry Manilow? Yeah, I called last week. Remember? I see. Last I see. Friday? Just a second, Tracy. Marianne? Right. What, what did you call to say? I don't want to hear any more Barry Manilow. Oh. He is so boring. He is depressing. Oh. One thing I do want to say is... You Tracy, are you going to take that from Marianne? No. Go ahead and you tell her. <laughs> I to tell her. You just, tell her what you think. You just leave him alone. Who do you like? I, I, I don't care for him. I do okay. like listening to Jonathan, and I don't like... We'll let this so fight continue in the background while you listen to a few commercials. Saturday is Boston Store sensational one-day store-wide sale. Starting at 8 a.m., you can save on everything you need for you, your family, and your home. Save from 20 to 50% on furniture, bedding, housewares, stereos, TVs, and much, much more. Plus, look for outstanding savings on new spring fashions and accessories for the whole family. Hurry in for this spectacular Saturday of savings. See Friday's Journal for some of the early bird buys. All stores open 8 a.m. Saturday for Boston Store's one-day store-wide sale. This weekend, during our store-wide winter sale, you can save on any size Sealy bedding for just $79. You've got a taste for quality. We've got the furniture you should see. When nothing but the best will do. Stein Huffles brings quality home to you. It's Stein
Feinhoffel's Any Size One Price Sealy Bedding Sale. Choose twin, full, queen, or king medium firm and pay just $79 for a quality Sealy mattress or matching box spring. Firm size is only $99. Extra firm, just $119. Size Sealy mattress, just $79 this weekend only. Well, they're still talking it over. They're still talking it over. The Barry Manilow fight continues. Hello, girls. Yeah. Who won? Uh, <laughs> nobody. Yet. Did you two become friends? Sure. You did? Uh huh. I see. Well, I just want, I just hope that uh, if you two would get this together, I let one of you represent the other side and one would represent the other side. Now, I assume that after those two minutes worth of commercials that you've decided whether or not I should play Barry Manilow records. So what's the decision? No. Yeah. Wait a second. I expected a unanimous decision here. Now, what is it? No. You have to play them. I can see you two need more discussion. Will you go back and talk to one another for a little while longer? And I need an, an answer that you both agree on, okay? You're not going to get one. Well, you two just work on it there. I believe in negotiation rather than fighting. Okay, now you two just talk it over again some more there. There they go. They're going to play up after a certain hour. They're going to negotiate this so I have this all settled before we... Uh, <laughs> Come back. No matter how careful you are, your car won't stay in you looking forever. When those first few telltale signs appear, take your car in to Pro Auto Body at 29th and Hampton. A few rust spots, a scratch here and there, and maybe even a bent fender can make your car look old before it's time. Pro Auto Body offers complete body work and painting on all American and foreign cars. Pro Auto Body is equipped with the new bench system, a must to effectively straighten late models. The painting and auto body work experts at Pro Auto Body even give you an exclusive one-year guarantee on all their work. These professionals work with such precision and care that they know you will be completely satisfied. With 20 years' experience under their belts, you can depend on the experts at Pro Auto Body to do a good job. They'll even give you a free estimate and free late model loaner car while they work on yours. Insurance work is welcome. For an appointment, call 447-7773. Pro Auto Body even does complete classic car restoration. That's Pro Auto Body at 29th and Hampton. <laughs> you two turkeys are waiting for me, weren't you? <laughs> okay, what's the unanimous decision? Do we play the Barry Manilow records or not? Yes and no. Yes and no? Yeah. You, you mean I play all the Barry Manilow records you want on your show between 4 and 5, but the other hours you can't play any Barry Manilow. Yeah, but if you say he can play all the ones he wants, he's not going to play any. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> See, you haven't really resolved it too well, have you yeah. girls? How about if I play the tribute to... Barry Manilow. Go ahead. I think it's funny. Okay. This, then, is Ray Stevens and his band of renown, sounding as much like Barry Manilow, probably even more like Barry Manilow than Barry himself. My account is overdrawn. My car slid down the hill. I'm giving up. I've got no more to... If only Barry Manilow had sounded that good on his songs, right? <laughs> oh, I hope you Barry Manilow fans aren't taking this too seriously here. We're just having some fun. Here's Bertie Higgins and a song that mentions Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. It's called Key Largo. Wrapped around each other Trying so hard to stay warm First cold winter together. Bye bye. <laughs> well, I'm sure I've had lots of fun talking to uh, uh, people of both persuasions, the pro and anti Barry Manilow people. Well, I'm, we intend to keep playing the Barry Manilow songs as long as they're popular. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just the, you know, it's the program director's decision. Uh, I just am having fun with. It. I love that Ray Stevens thing. That did not come out. Recently, by the way, that came out a couple years ago. He's such a creative guy, Ray Stevens. He's done, you know, the Guitar Zan and the Harry the Harry Ape. I mean, he did that kind of stuff when I was in high school. I remember my daddy driving me to high school and hearing Harry the Harry Ape, I think. 
And I got out of high school 20 years ago, kids. Mm. Got to tell you where I went right after high school. I went to Sazes. Not university. Sazes Bar. <laughs> and I've been there ever since. Yeah. Sazes on State Street is a... Uh, well, it started out uh, years ago before Mr. Sazama bought it as uh, kind of a Mon Pa tavern, just like the other ones around town. You know, nice old place, uh, stone building with the terrazzo floors and a round bar in a place, and a few folks would stop in after uh, working their shift at the little, uh, whatever those factories are down the street. And then Saz bought it, and uh, it's been rolling crazy ever since. It's kind of the in place to go for uh, uh, business people, for... Um, sports people, a lot of sports people. He runs a lot of sporting events. It's uh, the 